Hey guys, so this probably goes without saying, but um, my eyelashes are really long. Do you see this? And so everyone always asks me, oh my gosh, your eyelashes are amazing. What kind of mascara do you use? So that's what I'm here to show you today. Um, I've used a lot, but I always go back to the same view. Like a couple of my alternative favorites are the two fresh mascaras. One is called Supernova and one is called Firebird. But I'm not going to show you those today because for one, they're expensive, and two, I found things that work better. So, <laughs> drugstore makeup, I know. Colossal. This mascara is out of any of the um, Maybelline series that are like, there's this one, hand me that purple one right there. This one right here, um, I'm not the biggest fan of, honestly, like, I've tried this one, I tried the red one, it's called like one by one or something, or coral color, sorry. And then I tried, uh, what other one is there? There's one more. I don't know, and then like the orange uh, lash blast, I hate those mascaras, oh my god, I hate that brush. Anyway, this brush is huge and fat, um, it has like a trillion bristles on it, and I usually don't like mascaras with this kind of formula because it dries, like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, it just, your lashes don't stay like fluffy, they, they get really hard and dry, but this one... I don't know. I keep going back to it. I love it. It makes my eyelashes look great. And then uh, for like brand name mascaras, my favorite one is this Tarte mascara. It's called Lights Camera Lashes and it comes in this cool like purple snake, snake skin packaging. Um, mine, I use it so much the brush broke off so it's just kind of like in the bottle. <laughs> but I'll show it to you. God, this is so ghetto. So the thing I love about this mascara is it's like a really fluffy brush. It gives your eyelashes a really just full like feathered out look. And I don't I don't really know how to describe it. They're soft. Instead of drying out like I said the Colossal does, which like I said I usually don't like, but on the Colossal mascara the brush and everything is just like the perfect mixture. And so this one gives you like this really full fluffy feathery soft look and it makes my eyes look huge. I love it. Lastly, Cargo Texas Lash. Um, I used to buy this at Sephora, and then for some reason Sephora start, stopped carrying cargo, which made me really sad because I love this mascara. It's called Texas Lash because it's supposed to be huge. This brush, I mean, compared to my eye, look at the brush. It's huge. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so here's another weird thing. This one, the smell of it, people say that they don't like, and people say that about Colossal also. But I'm the kind of person that, like, I like the smell of it. It smells kind of weird, and then I'll, I'll just kind of be like, mmm, it smells so good. This one, my mom hates it. I think it smells so good. Oh, my gosh, I could, like, live in this bottle. I'm not kidding. But, yeah, so this one, what it does for me is it, like, gives me huge volume, and my eyelashes just look big Texas, you know, big Texas eyelashes. And anyway, yeah, those are the three that I use the most. And sometimes I'll even use, like, all three in one day. Like, the key is to not stop putting on your mascara. Like, say I'm putting on, you know, just over and over and over. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait a few seconds. And then keep going and keep going and keep going. But a lot of people will, like, wait for it to dry and then put on a new coat. Like, who does that? No, that's bad. You don't let your eyelashes dry before you put on more mascara. You just keep going, and that's how you get your eyelashes to look like this. Alright, so have a great day and I'll be making more tutorials for you.